This is an amazing dupe for sh Shart. Shart! I just said Shart instead of Tarte Shape Tape. Good to see you. Vlogmas! Good morning. It snowed. It is 7 o'clock. Poor Yarman <laughs> is recovering while he's like kind of sick, as you guys know from yesterday. And he's cleaning off the car so I can bring him to the train station. I'm just making him a bagel for the ride. I'm gonna have him eat a banana too. I'm just trying to like give him lots of nutrients. I mean, he like works so hard, guys, between work and school and the military. I'm gonna pack him some of these. I'm also taking airborne because I really don't want to get his sickness. I love you, babe, but I don't want your sore throat. So, I'm making him one of those Dave's amazing bagels. Dave's killer bread. So good. But look at, yeah. Yesterday, all the snow was gone. And now it's all back. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Are you taking vlog content from me? I am. Thanks, babe. I actually took a little bit this morning already. You did? Yeah, when you were like cleaning off the car. But guys, look how pretty it is. It's beautiful right here. outside. It's the benefit of New England weather, you know, you get all four seasons. Yes. So like that's I why love people it. hate the winter. What kind wow. of winter we like winter? You love winter. Out of all people, of course you do. I mean, I have to. I'm you a Christmas to. baby. Yeah. She's taking me to work. She's such a good... Take him to the train job. station. Yeah. <laughs> you were going to call me you wifey, weren't you? <laughs> You'd be calling me wifey. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's uh, not too much. We didn't have to, like, shovel or anything. He didn't have to shovel. Plowed right over it. Yep. <laughs> morning vlogmas all right guys so i'm back home i was just putting away the dishwasher dishes so i also just made myself um a dave's killer bread bagel as well but i just finished my everything bagel seasoning from trader joe's this stuff is actual heaven i'm gonna make myself some tea i also got these pajama bottoms at walmart they have little um polar bear on them. So I'm gonna do an awake English breakfast tea to really pump up the caffeine. <laughs> I feel tired, but we're gonna get some energy going. So I'm just gonna let this steep, probably add in a little trivia. I'm not a big person to put milk in my tea. Let me know. Do you guys put milk in your tea? Because that's just never been something I do. But to each their own. I also put a little honey in. Mm, it's really good. All right, so I'm going to take a shower. Shower routine part two. No, no. I'm kidding. Okay guys, so I thought today we could do a holiday glam look, look, for today's episode of Vlogmas. Let's do some sort of like really beautiful holiday glam that would just look great for like any holiday party, whatever you celebrate, just look like full glam. Can't wait to wear this to the grocery store later. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is use some of my Tula Rose Glow and Get It under my eyes just to like depuff and brighten. I took a shower, I blow dried my hair, and then I put away all the laundry that has just been like taunting my soul because I just didn't want to put it away. <laughs> I can do laundry all day long. I know this is like so cliche, but I can do laundry all day long. 
I can put it in the machine. I can move it from the washer to the dryer, but I don't want to put it away. I put on too much of this primer. I do love this primer though. Like it's definitely become a favorite. It is the Professional from Benefit. It's fire. So I'm going to use some of this that we got yesterday in our vlogmas, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand, the Easy Highlighter. I'm going to put this on under my foundation. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm playing with this for the first time, and I'm going to kind of like put it where I would highlight under my foundation and see how it looks. Because I really am not a huge fan of putting on cream over top of my foundation. I just feel like it never quite looks great. And then for my foundation, I'm going to use the Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani in 4.5. And I think that that will be a nice, like, medium soft coverage to really, like, keep this looking nice. And it will really let the glow come through. The snow that we got last night is so pretty. Like, it's just like that really pretty snow. I'm just blending in that highlight, by the way. It's that really pretty snow that just like, it sits on all the trees so pretty. Like, it's a full winter wonderland. Ooh, look at that glow. We'll see if it kind of comes through under the foundation. What are you guys doing for the holidays? Let me know. Uh, what are your plans? Are you going to any parties that you could wear this look to? <laughs> I honestly don't even know what I'm going to do yet. We are having an ugly sweater party with our friends. But that's about all that I know so far. And then, you know, the usual family holiday and whatnot. This will forever be one of my favorite foundations. It's just luminous and beautiful. I love it! For concealer, I'm going to use my CoverGirl True Blend. This is an amazing dupe for sh Shart. Shart! I just said shart instead of tart shape tape. Shart face tape. <laughs> I think uh, that that shade is a little too dark. So fun. I must have grabbed the wrong one. That's super fun. I guess we'll just take shape tape or shart tape on top of it for a little bit of a lighter shade. And I'm going to blend that out and set it and bake it. Bike it with some Laura Mercier translucent powder. Let me know, do you guys want me to bake some treats for Vlogmas? On day one, Gabby and I made no bake treats. So maybe I could bake some bakeable treats <laughs> for you guys. Let me know what else you guys want to see during Vlogmas so far. I have a few other things planned. I realized that yesterday was two weeks till my birthday. If you guys didn't know. I was born on Christmas Eve. But yeah, I have some really Christmassy things coming up. Something exciting is happening this weekend. Uh, something big. So, you guys will be along for that. Make sure you stay tuned. Hit that notification bell. No, I'm totally kidding. But, like, you probably should. All right. Now, I'm going to let that a bike. And while it's baking, I'm going to do what I always do and throw on my brows. Because, I mean, you know, it's like, it's like when you put your conditioner in your hair in the shower and then you like while it's doing its thing you wash your so i'm going to use the precisely my brow from Bre brenefit this is what happens when i don't have a yerba mate in the morning So brows are on, it took like a few minutes, so I usually feel good about my baking by then. And I'm just sweeping it away. This is my favorite brush to sweep away my baking, it's the Tapered Face Brush from Sigma. And then I'm also just going to take more translucent powder and just set my whole face. So I've determined I'm too greasy of a person to not set my face with translucent powder. I just feel like my makeup slips around. 
I'm not super oily. I'm definitely oily again. But I need to set with translucent powder to keep my makeup on all day. But then if I want to go in and look glowy and fresh afterwards, after I set with translucent powder, I'll go in and throw on the Laura Mercier Candle Glow in the shade number one. And it's really beautiful. It like adds this really luminous, beautiful sheen to your skin. So I'll take a little bit on top and I'll just like lightly dust it. I don't know if you can see the glow on camera, but I'll just kind of throw it over my face where I want to look a little bit more glowy and it makes your skin just look so gorge. And then I'm gonna use the bronzer that I've been obsessed with lately, the Laguna bronzer from NARS. I've been using this now for about a month in my big e.l.f. brush. They still sell them, I saw it at Target the other day. Just gonna warm up my skin. I'm trying to go lighter with my bronzer because I don't know why lately I have just been wild and a little too hard. And then I like to just go ahead and cut my contour because it's not really a contour. And then it kind of just makes it look like I contoured. I'll let that just stay on for a few. And I'm also gonna use this bronzer to contour my nose. I like to go all out for the holidays. <laughs> I like to go full glam. Yaram and I are gonna be celebrating my birthday early this year because we wanted to just kind of like do a mini little getaway. So we're gonna be going away for a night, I think on the 20th or 21st, that Friday. Um, and he's like taking me out to dinner. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> But then we got a hotel in that area as well, just to like have a mini getaway and just clear our minds, have a little bonding time. So that'll be super fun. Take y'all along for that. This eyebrow always thrives and this one's just like, no, I don't feel like thriving. I'm like, it's not up to you, boo-boo, we're gonna thrive. I'm like maybe if I add more. It will solve my problems. Or did it just make it worse? Now for blush, I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Gen Nude in that peach though. It's like a fairly neutral blush. It's just like, it goes with a lot of different looks. It's kind of more natural, so you can go a little more intense on the eye. As you can see, I love this blush. The Gen Nude blushes from Bare Minerals are some of my absolute favorites. So I'm gonna go in now with MAC Soft and Gentle. One of my all-time favorite highlighters. Since I worked at MAC, I've said it a million times, but I freaking love this highlighter. I don't know, I think this highlighter just has a special place in my heart because it's the first highlighter I ever, ever used in my whole life. And like, I didn't, I remember back when I first started at MAC, like I didn't really understand highlighter. It was like, it was just kind of becoming super hot back then, or at least to me it was, I don't know. But I was like, what do you use that for? And then I kind of learned more about it and I just thought it was like the coolest, <laughs> coolest thing. And now I'll always have a soft and gentle in my makeup collection. So now I'm just priming with a little painterly paint pot from MAC as well. And you guys, take a guess right now. In your head, knowing me, what palette do you think we're gonna use today? Holiday vibes. We're gonna use the Too Faced Gingerbread Spiced Palette. So I have this beautiful lip color that I wanna use. So I'm gonna kinda like look at this new lip whip I got from Beauty Bakery. It is called Cranberry Stiletto. Ugh, ugh. But this palette is so gorge for the holidays. So I'm gonna start off with Spiked Eggnog. It's a really pretty, shimmery, uh, kind of like a champagne-y color. And I'm just going to dab that on my lid. Oh, it's so, so gorgeous. I've been wearing this color a lot lately. When I go shimmer, I've been wearing this. Cause it's like champagne-y, gold, it's really beautiful. And I'm gonna put Gingerbread Latte in my crease. It's a really pretty, like, camely matte brown. And I'm just gonna sweep that up in the crease. This will just be a really good transition shade. All these palette colors blend really nicely together. 
I don't know guys, I'm just starting to feel that little tickle in the back of my throat. The one that like you get when you're getting sick. Cause you know, if you didn't know from yesterday's vlog, Yarmin now has a sore throat. And I feel like, at least in my experience, that's how every cold starts. It starts with a sore throat, then it goes to like your nose, and then you have the cough forever. I'm like, please no, I'm taking airborne like crazy. Not during vlogmas. So then I'm gonna take some of Reindeer Paws. It's like a nice hot cocoa color. And I'm just going to dab that in the outer corner. Give it a little bit of smoke. A little holiday smoke. And then I'm gonna take the color Gingerbread, which is like a little bit of a warmer matte brown. It's literally like the shade of a gingerbread and I'm just going to layer that on top and kind of use it to marry those colors together and I'm gonna just take a little bit more of that champagne color back on the lid to make it really pop because we definitely lost a little. I'm so glad you enjoyed the Q&A the other day with Yar guys like he loves you. <laughs> he loves you guys. He's so supportive. Like he really wanted to do that video like we came home from my grandparents and like, I was like, I think I'm gonna do a QA. and a like I really need content for today. And he's like, I'll do one with you. And I'm like, you don't have to, like you're so tired. Seriously, I can do it alone. He's like, no, 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 I'm gonna do it with you. And I'm like, you're a freaking angel. Like he's the sweetest person. Like, I don't know how I got so freaking lucky. I'm also gonna take some Frostbite Me, which is like more white shimmer. And I'm just gonna layer that on top as well. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Just gotta make them pop. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm gonna take some of that gingerbread color and I'm gonna use that on my bottom lash line. I think it will look really pretty. This palette is everything. Cause it has like some purpley tones in it too. It has like warm browns, purples. It really complements like green hazel eyes. I mean, anyone can use it, of course, but it looks really pretty if you want, like, the green to come out in your eyes. I feel like mine always look really green when I wear this palette. Um, and now I'm just going to throw on some mascara and lashes. Okay, so my lashes are still drying, so it's a little bit white. But these are the Boston lashes from Lily. So love them. Representing my city. Whoop, whoop. Favorite chapstick, Brazilian Kiss. Mm, so good. So I'm gonna throw on some lip liner called Immortal from Gerard Cosmetics. I need to pick up some more lip liner because I this isn't even like the right color. It's really just like the best I could do. I don't have like a dark red lip liner. I only have like a medium. Red. So, like I said, this is a Cranberry Stiletto Lip Whip from Beauty Bakery. I've used their lip whips for a while now. I really like them. Oh! Christmas. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I had a dream I got kicked out of Disney World. <laughs> like, I tried to sneak back in with my mom. Cause she didn't get kicked out, just me. Not a good time to tell a story, huh? So like I snuck back in and I was like on this water ride and they literally came on the ride and like took me off in my tube. Can someone tell me what that means? <laughs> Such a pretty color. These dry down really nicely and like actually last a really long time. Like you can 100% eat with them. They stay on really well. Um, and they feel like pretty thin. They don't feel like thick and annoying. So yeah, that is my holiday look. Do you see that Lizzo put out a new video for uh, Good As Hell? It was really good. So, because I was gonna say, I do my hair toss, check my nails. Okay, anyway. So if you have this palette at home, hopefully this look will inspire you or like similar colors. And like a lip color like this, you could just recreate this look with some pretty lashes. Feeling super glam. It's so funny whenever I go out with like full glam, like you can just tell people like look at you. They're like, where is she going? Nowhere, on the internet. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys later. I have a lot of work to do. Okay, 
it's a little bit later. <laughs> I'm about to make some lunch, so I'm attempting heatless waves or curls. I'm gonna link down below the video that I followed the tutorial for. I'm gonna go in public like this <laughs> for you. I'm gonna make lunch and <laughs> Then I'm gonna run to the grocery store. My grandma needs me to pick her something up. So I'm gonna go pick that up for her and bring it over to her. And um, then maybe by then we'll be able to take these out. Usually you like sleep in these. If this works, it's gonna be a game changer. Her hair looked perfect at the end of the tutorial. <laughs> I think I did it right. It's basically just like twisting the hair and then putting it in a bun, a twisted bun. Do we have faith in me? <sighs> I guess we'll find out. I was thinking to myself, maybe if I put a hat on, it won't look as weird. I think it looks worse. Guys, <laughs> I fell asleep in my grandma's house for like an hour and a half. I'm so tired. And my grandma got me an advent calendar. Got 11 pieces of chocolate coming my way. <laughs> my hair looks so funny. I hope, I hope it looks good. Like, I don't know if this messed it up, but let's go home and take them out because I've had it in for like four hours. chocolate second hair come out this is fun remember when you were a kid and you're like where's the number <laughs> you'd wake up and just like frantically look for the number i forgot how fun these are though and just a little baby piece of chocolate i'm so curious oh god i don't have a lot of faith i'm fully prepared to have to like use a curling iron <laughs> Place your bets right now in your head <laughs> or a comment. Ooh, the ends don't look good. The ends were really hard. Like, she, I don't know how she got her ends to look so good. Um, kind of a fail. <laughs> I mean, maybe I just didn't do it right. I think I really messed with the ends. It's hard to do the ends. Maybe I didn't do it right. It doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look good. <laughs> a little more like crimpy than the curls that she had. Like her curls were like perfect. Hmm. I'm gonna have to fix this for my dinner with my friend. <laughs> so the thing is, the other day I plugged in my curling iron with the new head I got from Sephora. You guys know I got the new head for my T3. I put it on, I plugged it in, and the plug sparked. Electrical outlet. And now that outlet won't work. <laughs> So I don't know what happened, clearly not good. And then it works down here now, but this won't heat up. I think the bottom broke. Like this just won't heat up and it's put in the right way. It's locked, it's stone cold. And I'll wait, like I waited like 10 minutes last time and it didn't work. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's not gonna heat up. It's not gonna heat up. So, let's now find out if the whole thing is broken or that head just doesn't work. I hope. I don't have to buy a new bottom for this. Christmas gifts got me sped this year. So now let's see if it works with just the wand again. And this thing just doesn't work. Regardless, I am disappointed. Shit, I think the bottom of this got broken. When I plugged it into that plug and it like sparked, I think this just like died. Yeah, no, it's not getting hot at all. Usually right away you can feel it start to warm up. So I can't even fix my hair. <laughs> like I really can't because this is the only, this bottom has every head. This is the only thing I have. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna have to buy one of these. That sucks, like what happened? Like I literally plugged it in with the new head, turned it on and it like, I could hear it go like pop, pop. And I'm like, yeah, no, this is broken. Damn, that sucks. All right, I haven't even had this for what, a couple years? Maybe my plug did it. RIP to this guy. So about my hair, what am I gonna do? 
Give me a half up, half down. Can I flip it? Because that looks a little better. I guess that doesn't look the worst. Mm. Alright guys, I'm about to go have dinner with my friend Janelle. We're going to this Italian place. If you saw my outfit on Insta, it's pretty poppin'. I'm wearing these wide leg trousers from Boohoo and Booties. And then my, ooh, get down, get funky. I'm wearing this leopard fuzzy beret from Target. And then this square neck ASOS top. Hello, I am home now. Every, Hello. Everyone was concerned about your sickness yesterday. Yeah, I'm still not. He's through um, the he's through the sore throat phase, and now he's on to like the nose congestion. So he's going through the phases pretty quickly, which is good. But yeah. like, it's not a heavy sickness, but like it's yeah. But we're we're I have him on all on all the things to get him better. So don't you worry. But thank you for all your recommendations, guys. So. I didn't know Janelle was going to bring me my Christmas and birthday gifts, so I didn't get to bring her hers yet, but um, I'm going to show you guys what she got for me. She got me some really thoughtful gifts. So the first thing, which I absolutely love, is from Kate Spade. I am obsessed with this. It's probably my favorite because it's very sentimental. So it's this glass key ornament. And then it has a little gold tag on it. It says 2019 to commemorate buying my first house and just like a really magical memory. I love that it has the year. So always remember the house. I, I named this house Florence, by the way, guys, if you didn't know. But I'm going to put this on the tree. Really thoughtful. And then this is from Coach. She knows I love astrology. So this is the Capricorn goat. And it's a gold goat with stars on it. She's like, it's a gold Capricorn. What more could you want? So it's so perfect. I really, really love that. And then also from Coach, she got me this really pretty necklace. I love. It's so like just dainty and pretty. It's definitely my style. So can't wait to wear that. Everything was like gold themed. Like Janelle and I have very similar aesthetics. So like she always just <laughs> nails it. She's so sweet. Uh, also this winter candle from Bath and Body. She's like, honestly, I didn't even smell it. I just loved the gold and white. And I'm like, you are my soul sister. But winter smells really good. Um, I have the smell too at home. So I know I love it. White woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine and spiced clove. And then this gorgeous clutch here which matches the necklace um i freaking love it it's like champagne-y glittery it's really beautiful thank you so much sister if you're watching i love you so much um these gifts are so incredibly thoughtful so i'm going to edit vlogmas now i think this one was pretty long and look how cute this birthday card is it has mermaid on it Magical birthday. Look at that cute card. Oh, that reminds me of a Halloween costume you want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you remember that? You remember that? Remember that? That, remember that, that was your first that? big moment on my channel. Uh, your first big moment. Big, big, big moment. Big win moment. I have to save the card. I always, I always save cards. I'm very sentimental with cards. I have like a drawer full of cards. Um, all right, guys. So, good night. See you tomorrow. Happy Vlogmas. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs, thumbs up, up, thumbs 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 up, thum